the Metropolitan Cathedral of San Fernando, formerly Cathedral of Our Lady of the Assumption, is a neoclassical church in the city of Fernando in Pampanga, province of the Philippines. The church measures 70 meters long, 13 meters wide, and the height of 11 meters high. The round majestic dome rising from the rotunda of the transept is reminiscent of the Baroque style with some Renaissance elements. The church was destroyed by fire again in 1939 and restored by Pampango architect Fernando H. Ocampo. In 1948, the church was elevated to cathedral and it became the seat of the Diocese of San Fernando. In 2014, the cathedral underwent a major renovation and restoration under the leadership of Monsignor Eugenio G. Reyes. San Guillermo Paris Church is named after San Guillermo, the patron saint of Bacolor, Pampanga, where the church is erected. Because of this, it is also known as the Bacolor Church. The church was originally constructed by the Augustinian Friars in 1576. In 1880, the church was destroyed by an earthquake only to be rebuilt in 1887. But in 1991, another inevitable phenomenon happened. Mount Pinatubo erupted in the world's notice and buried half of the church with its lahar. It is built in the Baroque style of architecture and looks to be built of concrete. Upon closer inspection, however, one can see that its meter-thick wall consists of bricks and stoneworks. Near the facade of the Paris church is a museum which contains the history of the church. It also contains paintings of the Pinatubo eruption in 1991. Most of the church is already concealed by modern finishing, especially in the church interior. However, one can easily notice and remember what happened in the past just by looking at the remaining opening of the windows. This is a proof of how strong and onward the people in Pampanga are. After the volcanic eruption, the town's people painstakingly excavated the altar and the retablo and relocated it under the dome in order for the tall wooden retablo to fit. The church is filled with centuries-old materials which were saved from the destruction of the Lahar. The citizens of Bacolor take pride in their rich heritage, which is why they carefully excavated the ornately carved main and side altars and restored in its immaculate condition. The church is already a world-famous tourist destination prior to the Lahar tragedies and in the present has remained being so. This church was established in 1607 and dedicated to St. James the Apostle. It was declared a national cultural treasure by the National Museum and the National Commission for Culture. 
In 1908, the church was burned and all the baptismal documents and other historical catalogs of the church turned into ashes. The church was also designed to withstand earthquakes that occur often in the region. This unique architectural style is known as Baroque Earthquake. The church was built by Augustinian friars from 1660 to 1670. The initial structure was composed of wooden materials. However, the church was destroyed by several fires, which justified the consequent use of non-combustible concrete materials in 1770. The retablo, a classical altar, is ornately decorated with carved designs. The religious frescoes in the ceiling and murals on the wall with its intricate sculpture and paintings in gold dust are reminiscent of the Renaissance age of European art. There are paintings and murals of the Holy Family selected biblically scenes, Catholic saints, and cherubs. The artwork of the interior was extensively done in 1939 under the last Spanish fire. columns in Corinthian order and linings using entablatures in its ceiling. The retable of the church at the end of the nave is also something to brag and notice about. Though the dome of the church promotes simplicity, display and showcases complicated border designs. architectural features are seen on its exterior. Construction started in the year 1640 and was finished in the year 1638. Its architectural style is Baroque and Neoclassic and is built using Spanish bricks and stones. The facade has one semicircle arched main door and three rectangular windows on the second level. It is crowned by an imaginary triangular pediment topped by a cross. As of writing, the rough brick surface of the church has been replaced by new ones. The stones and brick walls used are 2.46 meters thick, creating a perimeter with a length of 82.45 meters 
and a width of 21.12 meters with a height of 10.5 meters. The flat surface of the facade is bare of ornamentation, save for the central rectangle of niches, fluted pilasters, and iconic columns in neoclassic style. Extraordinary beauty of its preserved stones, bricks, woods, and other Spanish era architectural features make the visit very worthwhile. Church in Hangele City, Pampanga, formerly known as Santo Rosario Church. The church was constructed from 1877 to 1896 with the Polo Easter Labor System. In October 1877, the foundation of the church were first laid out the founding families of Hangele City. April 1886, where the half of the church was finished, and the second half of the church, which included the building's distinctive tomb, was finished on September 1891. October 1896 where the church was finally finished. The church was Byzantine style. The design of the column is Corinthian order. The window border details.
se trance. Tadum. The color restory windows. The chancel. Tablo. 